Bang! Needs Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is busy. And this is the top five knife couples where you have the large version and the small version of the knife. Now, these are not on the list. This is just an honorable mention of the Main Street, the Concept Main Street, and the Concept Little Main Street. And the reason why I did make the list is because the little guy, man, I just can't stand the access to the lock bar. The, the, I'll say the Micarta one was a lot better. But the large one, man, I love the large one. Awesome, awesome knife. Really, really good in the hand. Just a fantastic knife. But it is not on the list. Now, don't forget to let me know down in the comments what's your favorite knife couple. What's your favorite large and small version knife that you, where you like them both? Starting off with this list. Now, let me just say there are so many knives I would love to have on this list. Like I love my Sabenza, but I do not have a small Sabenza 21. So it can't make the list. Um, the Freak, the, um, the, the Bug Out, the 940. I have them, but I don't have the smaller version. And then some of the other knives that I did have that I'd love to have on this list, I don't have any more because I gave them away. But let's start this list off with my Benchmade Griptilian Large and Small. These are amazing knives. I love the Benchmade Griptilian, especially the Sheep's Foot. I don't even think I like the regular one as much, but I love this Sheep's Foot version. The Sheep's Foot's great for utility cuts, has a little bit of belly for slicing. The Ergos are amazing, especially for push cuts. And the action on these, at least on mine, are so smooth and yet locked up rock solid. The Omega Springs have never broke. They're still as strong as they ever were. And yeah, just an amazing, amazing knife. I really like the Benchmade Griptilian, especially the large one, but even the small one, man. This is a great, great secondary. Great blade shape. I do wish it was still the hollow grind, but it's not. And I technically, I have the Tonto version right here, which I think is discontinued in 154CM. Um, which this is a great Tonto too. I just want to say this. So if you have the large version of this or the small version, great, great Tonto. Next, we have the Spider Co. Manix XL and the Manix 2. So both the Manix 2, this one's the XL, this one's the regular version. I have the Flytanium Scales and Cage on this one, which man, I love this knife. It just, I can feel how strong the lockup is on both of them. I'd like to get the cage on this one, the titanium cage, but I won't get the scales on it because I just think it'll be too heavy. This one's heavier than this one now because of the scales, but it's not too heavy. It's just perfect. And I really like it. Love the ergos, love the geometry, love the blade shape. S30V steel on both of them. And I personally, for me, I like S30V a little bit better than S35. I get a little bit better edge retention and I get better edges. Um, now, if I'm just doing a toothy edge, then S35VN is fine. But if I ever want to do a polished edge, like what's on my XL, um, S35VN just doesn't do good with a polished edge, but S30V does great. On this one, I have a nice toothy edge and it is super sharp. I mean, this thing is very, very sharp. If you can see what's happening to my finger right now, you just touch it. Whew, that thing is sharp, boy. Next, the SOCOM Elite and the mini SOCOM Elite. Now, this is very rare. I know a lot of people don't have these, and a lot of people want them to remake them. This knife is like 22 years old or some. It's 2019. So, you can see the date. Or 99. Sorry, 2019. Ah! 99. That's what I meant to say. So, yeah, it's very old, but it's like it's brand new. And it is amazing. The, ama the action's still amazing. And it, it, it's such a smaller knife compared to the big one, too. The, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. What a great knife. The action on the big one is stupid good. What a good tactical knife. Sorry about that. My camera stopped. Man, I got to get uh, some more memory. That deletes some stuff. Anyways, but yeah, just a good tactical knife and a good hard-use knife. This thing is a hard-use beast. Love the SOCOM Elite. It's just, yeah, such a great knife. And the action, this is some of the best thumb stud action you will find on a knife. 
especially for such a big knife. It's kind of like you kind of just kind of shift your fingers when you flick it. And man, it bolts out and you can hear the detent. Very, very nice. The slow roll is easy. The reverse flick is easy. Great knife. And then the little guy, this one's an auto, but hopefully one day they wind up making some more of these. Maybe just a little bit bigger than this one. Maybe a medium range. That'd be kind of cool. That way the people that still have these, you know, it's still very collectible. But it's just kind of in the medium range. But this is a very rare knife. 154 CM. And yeah, it's just so old. I never sharpened it. This is how it came. I don't think this is a factory edge. This is kind of a safe queen. If we ever had a safe queen, this is definitely one of them because it's in mint condition and yeah. All right, next up. Now this is gonna be controversial. Or you know what, let me pull up this one first because this is, I just did the review on it, but the Civivi Elementum, these things, are awesome all the way around. Amazing, amazing knives. But the full size one, oh man, it's so much more comfortable and useful for me personally. I love the blade shape. I love the grind. Really thin, hollow grind. Beautiful blade shape. To me, this is like the perfect knife. You know, the knife shape, the grind, the choil, the ergos. It's not too big, not too small, nice and straight, slim in the pocket. Um, I do wish it did have a deployment method besides the button, but, but just as a knife, as a work knife, as a tool, this thing's amazing. And it actually is pretty cool once you get it down. And they have the best 14C28 on I've seen it's amazing. I can't express it enough. When you sharpen the, their 14C28N, it is stupid good. It's so good. But yeah, the Civivi Elementum, the button locked version, the large version, and the regular version. Even the regular version is still amazing. Now, I just did the review on the big one. So if you want to see the review, watch it. And I have multiple videos. I have a review on these, and then I also have a comparison comparing them to the Benchmade Bug Out. I probably have other videos too because I have the regular one and then the S35 VN version, which is actually a little thinner. Next, this one's gonna be a little controversial. I'm gonna pull it out anyways. The Slish Buoy, the Spyderco Slish Buoy and the Techno. Now, technically, these are not a big and small version, but it is the same designer and to me, they, it is kind of like the big and small version. I know the blade shape is completely different, but these guys are so similar in so many ways. The action is the exact same. The clips are the same. Titanium frame lock, the access to the lock bar, the action. It's so similar. Now, one thing that's actually kind of weird is that the Techno 2 has big hardware and the big slish buoy has little hardware except for the clip. Isn't that crazy? But man, the action is so similar. They're so good. This thing is stupid smooth. I mean, it's redonkulously smooth, but very easy to deploy. Awesome, awesome knife. This is a little tank. And this is just a badass knife. I, you know, I know it's got a lot of hype. And in my opinion, it should. It's a fantastic knife. I'm not normally a big uh, clip point buoy blade shape kind of guy, but damn it, I love it. I love it. Now, I could pull these out, but I'm not gonna, but I'm gonna show them anyways. But because they're both the same designer, and if you look, it's kind of like the same knife. You have the Wee Malice, Fair and Forge design, and then you have the Civivi, um Oh, man. Now I can't even think of the name of it. <laughs> we have the mini... Um, uh, oh, I can't even think no more. Now I got a brain fart. We have the mini Archbishop, which is just like this knife. Very similar. Um, I mean, so similar. They're almost identical. I forget the name of this one now, and I just got it. Damn it. What an idiot. 
Anyways, but I could pull up these guys, but I'm not going to because technically they're not a big and a large version of each other, even though they are so similar and they are the same designer, just like the Slish Bowie. But I threw in the Slish Bowie because they're a lot more similar to each other than these two. Because they're at least both the same materials. I mean, the same blade steels, the same everything. So last but not least, number one is... Hinder XM24, Hinder XM18, Hinder XM18 3-inch non-flipper, and then the Hinder XM18 3-inch flipper spear point with the fuller, and bang, this thing is amazing. All of these are amazing. I love the non-flipper. It's so stupid, stupid smooth. You can, I mean, the action on it for the thumb studs is incredible. And the detent is just so well tuned. The ergos are great. Burgundy micarta, love it. Now, the spear point fuller version is all tie, but it has the flipper. So it has a lot stronger detent on it, but you can still use the thumb studs and you can still use the fuller. Still works great. And yeah, this one's kind of a matchup to this one. If you look, see how we got the hardware, nice blue titanium hardware, except for this one's got that show side, which I still like the show side on this one, but damn it, is that not sexy? And this is actually made by Hinder. This is a Hinder titanium scale. The action on this thing is ridiculous. Now, I will say I do have uh, micarta scales for this, and it is more it is more comfortable with the micarta scale. But I just like the titanium just a little bit better. Even though it's not as comfortable, it's just a little cooler. And it's still very, very comfortable in the hand. Love this knife so, so much. The action. I mean, I did, wouldn't have thought that the action would improve after putting the titanium scales on it. But it even got better than it was. Now, the XM24... This is this is a straight guillotine. This is a guillotine, but this is a heavyweight guillotine. The action is so good on it. Now, this is also a triway pivot, but I think it's one of the older ones. And the reason why I say that is because it does not have a steel lock bar insert, unlike you know the newer ones. And it's S thirty five VN. This one's twenty CV. But I do think though. Or I'm 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 happy with that because it is so locked up. I mean, this thing is so solid. It's a bank vault, and the lock bar is so smooth. I've never even felt it. Even think about lock stick. I mean, zero lock stick. It, one of the smoothest lock bars I have, and it has no lock bar insert. I mean, seriously, it is so smooth. And man, it's so drop shutty, false shut action. And you can even reverse flick it without a problem. The action on this thing is amazing. The detent is nice and broken in. It's not like crazy strong or anything like that. The ergos on this thing, I mean, the ergos on the, the XM18 are amazing. They're, I mean, they're perfect. But then when you get this thing in hand, I mean, this thing's a beast, and it just fills your hand so good. I mean, it is so comfortable. You you have great leverage in your cuts when you have a grip like this. It's amazing. So there you guys go. I'd love to hear your guys' top anything. Just what are your what's your favorite knife couple you have? That's the large version and the small version where you like them both. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.